this is what the build-up is all about. The cup final itself, so much anticipation, so much for the supporters to enjoy for their day out. But the players will only remember it if they win. That's true. It's been a fascinating tournament, a lot of good play, and I just hope this final lives up to that track record. Today's match for you, it's USA against England. time for the national anthems. This is how the USA line up. Well, looking at this, there's a great impetus on other players rather than the three attackers to give width to the play. They'll all want to be in the box. Yes, they will. I mean, uh, it could be a challenge for the opposition centre-halves. So many bodies coming at them, and uh, it does lack a bit of width. This is the starting line-up today. Well, more often than not, we're looking at teams that shape up this way, Alan. Yeah, such a popular system, 4-2. 3-1, it gives you a lot of stability, and if you're front four, as you might describe them, are good players, it's a really potent system. On view for us today, and an exceptional goalkeeper from the women's game, it is, of course, Hope Solo. Yeah, she's pretty much done it all up there with the very best female goalkeepers in the world, and holds the US record for the most clean sheets. We're ready to start. Sit back and enjoy the next 90 minutes of football. O'Reilly. It'll be a throw now after the tackle. here chance to get some width into this attack they put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper Megan Klingenberg moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here quick into the tackle and the result is going to be a throw Taking the heat out of the situation for the moment with that interception. Megan Klingenberg. Well, it's a delight to be able to uh, incorporate the women's game into the higher levels of, of football, and the level of skill is terrific. And I know a lot of. Uh... And it's a heading chance now. And here's the shot. It's a goal. That's why coaches work on getting into crossing positions so that you can get the dangerous ball in. It's always been the same football. Cross from a good position, you'll get chances. Yeah, and it always puts defenders on the back foot and gives the an attackers an advantage.
that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Morgan Bryan. Lloyd. Now, now they've got the ball back. What can they do from here? Bronx. Possession changed once more. It's gone out for a throw. Out of play for a throw. Here's Williams. Now Nobbs. Now Bronx. Carney. Now Nobbs. Aim for Potter. Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. That will be a goal kick. Well, she's delighted. And having made the run to get into that position, she was gifted an open goal. Yeah, I don't think she'll score an easier goal this season than that one. To Carney. Fine cross. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. Free kick here in a scoring position, there's no doubt about that. pretty close isn't it the free kick she hit it well yeah nothing wrong with that effort she'll be hoping for another free kick and uh, this time managed to get it inside those posts The opposition pen back this throw can help do that. Heather O'Reilly. First touch was poor. Potter. More. Good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. Heather O'Reilly. Now Morgan. Trying to find one back. Here. Yeah. It's the goalkeeper's ball. Carney. There's place another two minutes added on by the referee. by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. She expected to be the one to be replaced here. She's certainly tried hard enough, Alan, hasn't she? But not enough of what she's tried has come off. 
no, one of those days where not much did come off. She started slowly and never was able to pick it up. It's Horton here. A return ball. Potter. How? They've got a great understanding, this team. Just look at the passing. They've got the ball in that wide area there via the interception. Lauren Holiday. Now Knox. Potter. It's Rafferty. Oh, in goes the cross. Rapino. Well, they've been uh, really bursting to get on those players on the bench, and one's going to be lucky now. Opportunity to cross it now. Well, it didn't quite cause the problems that it looked as though it would that cross. And now the defending team can play their way out of trouble. More. And in goes the cross. Bronze. from the penalty spot it could be curtains for them in this game oh what a bad day at the office for those defenders and yet another rush challenge far too close to the goalkeeper Morgan to Carney Bronx Carney Bassett now Bronx Bronze. Out. Now Krieger. And well, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Nobbs. Farrow Williams. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. That's very good defending, and the player had nowhere to go. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. front 
are going to try and keep in front with a change here. A player being brought on from the bench. change here and it looks like a strategic one his holiday Klingenberg The referee's decision, two added minutes. That's it. It's lovely to watch the ball being passed with this sort of level of play, Alan. It's the understanding, the technique, the movement, the weight of pass that's been so pleasing on the eye. It's not the day to be a loser, but unfortunately, this group of players have to have that sad, sorrowful, sinking feeling. Yeah, they came second best. They got bullied in a way, physically, as much as anything else out on that pitch. There was more know-how in the winning team and they just couldn't step up to the mark. They're going to get their medals, but they're not the medals that they really wanted, that they were praying for last night. It didn't quite turn out to be their day, did it? I don't think they can have any complaints about the result. No, maybe one or two throws didn't produce the best and that is always galling for anybody when they get to a, a big cup final like this.